it's your boy Noto coming to another video, coming to another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, man, we're gonna talk about how Steve Harvey must be stopped. Must be stopped, man. This is putting out a whole lot of cancerous stuff, man. And I'm gonna show y'all a clip, and we just gonna come back and talk about this, man. Now, I don't even have to really explain to the point, even get down to how absurd this sounds. The abs- how, uh, how absurd this sounds, man. This is, this is ridiculous. So you're basically saying that the woman doesn't have to bring anything to the table just because she can birth a child? Just because she can birth a child, that means that we, we, we don't have to expect any. All she got to do is just show up and we just supposed to just... OK, protect and provide. Now, that's the, the only part that I agree with is the end of this video is when he said it is our it is our job to to, uh, to provide for a family and have our family and, and to raise our children. Of course, that is our job. But 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 that is not our job to do when it comes to a woman that is not receptive of our plan. We're not going to just do that for any for anybody. Bro. And that's that's the that's the problem I got with Steve. He's pandering. He's doing all this pandering, and then he's starting to sound idiotic at this point. Because like, what you mean? Just you got a table. You got a woman that can come to the table and make another you. So just because she can make another me, that I I, I don't need any emotional support. Just because she can make another me, that not mean that I, I can't. I, I got to deal with any attitude that she has and just shut up and just take it. Just because she can make another me, I can just. I just need to just, oh, just go along with any plan and just go with anybody that's not in cooperation with my operation. Just because she can make another me, I'm just supposed to just sit down and just bow down to her, man? No. What you mean? A woman's supposed to bring something to the table. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be a man's peace. That's what you're supposed to be. And, and this is like this twisted nature he's putting out and he's making it seem like the woman doesn't have to do anything when she comes into the relationship. That is the absurdity. That is, that is, that is, that is so asinine, man. Because that, that is unbelievable. I can't believe this. And a lot of women should be disagreeing with this too. I don't give a damn. I see a lot of women disagree with this. I've seen some of the comments, but at the same time, it's, it's so much pandering going on. There's a lot of women trying to clap it, clap it out and and be like, oh yeah, man, you right, Steve Harvey, because he spoke some truth. See how he ended it off? He ended it off, okay, yeah, it is our job to do that. And that's how he back up the op- the absurd comment that he made in the beginning. So you're talking about, so what, what, that's what's wrong with us. That's not what's wrong with us. That's what's right with us. <laughs> what are you bringing to the table? What the hell are we going to provide this lifestyle for you? Or if, if, you can't, if, if you can't even do the simple things of a woman? So he basically saying that just because she can birth your child, she don't have to do anything. She just show up and just, just lay around. You can just lay around the house. You ain't got to cook, clean. You ain't got to do nothing. That's what you can bring to the table. You can bring bring to the table some essential, you can some essential skills or some some essential know how. Okay, yeah, we can, we can do that. Be your peace. Do you have conversation skills? We got to get along. So she ain't got to bring none of that to the table. We ain't got to bring none of that to the table. No support. No, no compassion. She ain't gotta bring none of that to the table. So you basically saying, oh, we can just made as well just come and and just and she could just come and be a dummy and we just take care of her. She might as well be a vegetable that can just birth a child. At the end of the day, because that's, that's basically what he's saying. Like, wh- why why do we have to just sit down and just bow down to a woman? That's what basically what he's saying. That because she can give birth to. Okay, we understand that. That is a very important thing. We appreciate that. And I, I, be- I and I'm very. And I'm I'm very happy to admit that hey I, I appreciate that a woman can bring birth into this life that another man is, a mother you into this world man that that is very something that is amazing that is very amazing very fascinating but at the same time you promoting giving something for nothing see the whole something for nothing complex is is, is the whole problem I got right here you providing the same big insane lifestyle just for just just for, just because of that see the pandering steve harvey does he raises the expectations of these women and they feel like they're entitled they, they're entitled 
he's strengthening the entitlement of women, especially a lot of the average women that follow, because I notice a lot of average kind of looking women follow him. I hate to say that, but it's just the truth, because that's what Kevin Samuels would say. And I'm not just saying that because Kevin Samuels would say it, it, because I believe he would agree with this. He's empowering the ones that that feel like, oh, I've, I've been hurt this a few times or whatever, and he's taking advantage of their hurt and just and he's just making these videos and he's pandering to those hurt girls and making it seem like, oh, baby, we gotta deal with that. Yeah, all you gotta do is just show up and he's supposed to just take care of everything. And it's not supposed to be like that, man. Yes, women, you have to bring something to the table. I don't give a damn who you are. I don't give a damn how fine you are. I don't give a damn how much money you got. You still got to bring, bring something to the table. And the man's job is to protect and provide. And I'm not saying that you don't have to do that. That's, but the problem comes to where they feel like you get the whole something for nothing thing. And that's what, that's what throws everything off balance. Because as soon as they deal with a lot of dudes that are give them something for nothing, now it's like she start, they, they, then they start to spread the cancer as well. It's almost like a virus. This just start, start to spread like a virus now, like wildfire. Now all of a sudden, a whole lot of these, no generation of chicks just want something for nothing. The whole sugar daddy complex. They want the whole, it's a whole lot of stuff that just goes under this, guys. Now you just, now you get a whole bunch of chicks that just give you a whole bunch of lip and just want a whole bunch of all this up front before you even get to know them. You don't know, even be a weekend to know on this chick and now they want you They want you to do all stuff they damn they want you to do husband duties. Pay a bill and all this. They cut. But we all know what that means, man. They don't like you like that. Because even, even with Steve Harvey's pattern, you still can't beat out the sexual desires of a woman, which they aren't going to charge dudes that they really are sexually attracted to, which is going back to the point, but it's just the expectations like now, nowadays, they they they're coming and it's it's to the point where now they start to be conniving towards the one to the ones that they do view as uh, sexually attractive. Now the ones that they do want. Now they still trying to see they'll play games with him to see if they got he got a little sucker in him too. But if they find out it ain't there, they probably ain't gonna press it too much. But shit, they they'll probably still try to get some money out of him too, even if they are sexually attracted too. So now, yeah, you, that's not even a fail safe in them of just being sexual. Yeah, they'll still want you. They'll still smash you for free or whatever. But see, these days, they might slip it in. They, want, they might want something out of you too. It is what it is, man. It's just the cancer that spread like this. When the cancer like this spread, man, it, 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 just, it, just, it, just, makes, it just makes it just makes everything worse for the entire dating market at this point. Because now you, you, you're supposed to be treating a woman like a wife when she hasn't done anything. You see what I'm saying? When you like you, it's, it's almost like you always, you can never train a dog, you can never train an animal or anything if you're always giving them something without doing the task that you, the task that they're supposed to be doing. They can never be trained. They can never be, they will never be able to do anything right. Like what, what are you doing? The whole something for nothing complex. Girls know this from a, a very, very young age. That if oh, I don't have to do, I don't have to do anything, and I just get money. But like nowadays, if they say okay, you got a good, great, good, good, good grades in school, and you get an allowance, then that'll be the award. You see what I'm saying? But if you just give them money and they bring them home D's and F's, they ain't gonna never bring home A's, B's, and C's. They ain't gonna never make the A B on a roll or none of that. You see what I'm saying? So. That he promoting promoting that complex is what's making him a whole cancer to our environment, man. And Steve Harvey, he's made a whole bunch of uh, motivational speeches. I actually mess with his motivational speeches, to be honest. But when he starts talking about the women and 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 this, the way he talks about women, this is what I totally disagree with. And he's spreading a whole bunch of cancer. But I think he just just stick to the motivational speeches and just keep it at that. That's that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind looking at those because I do like the motivational speeches. But other than that, this this pandering to women, it's not what's up. It's not what's up. It's like it's, it's almost like he's like an older Derek Jackson, bro. An older Derek Jackson. And it's not like he ain't got no skeletons in his closet, which is where he didn't done things too. But I'm not the type of dude to just go and digging up and I ain't, I ain't on that gossip and all that. I'm just seeing what I see right in front of me. And I can see that the problem that this can cause, and I can see the minds that it can influence. 
and is he basically he, he basically trying to turn men into suckers and women into bosses, bro. It's women into bosses, bro. It's nothing wrong with a woman being a boss, but you know what I mean, being a boss of the situation, rulers of the situation, bro. I, nah, that's that's not cool to me. That is nowhere near cool to me. But anyway, guys, man, I appreciate the feedback, man. I appreciate the likes, comments, and subscriptions, man. If y'all made it this far, man, go ahead on and press the like button, man. Go on and comment, man. Give me y'all feedback, bro. And appreciate y'all for rocking with me, bro. We didn't, we didn't hit 1K. We trying to go up, man. Let's just keep it going, man. If y'all mess with the content, bro, just, just keep, it, keep running it up for your boy, man. Your boy trying to grow. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy Noto coming to another video. Coming to you another podcast, man. I'm out.